In this video, I'm going to teach you three tips that will make you more productive with VS Code as a web developer. Let's go. So the first one is using Emmet. Emmet is a tool that is built in with VS Code and is especially intended for HTML. So if you have an empty HTML, you can just type exclamation mark and if you hit enter you can see that it generates the whole document for you with the doc type with the html tags the body tags the head tag and some meta tags as well you could just remove all of this and type html5 and here you should be able to see the emit abbreviation as well if you don't see this you might probably see something like this and you can just click this arrow to see the abbreviation the whole data that will be posted there when you hit enter tab or when you just click here so what else can you do with Emmet? For example, when you want to create some tags, you do something like this. You start an angle tag and then you kind of complete it just like this. Now with Emmet, you can just type P and press enter and you can see the tag being created. And this makes it quite easy to work with HTML. For instance, you could do something like this div, then this has another div, then this has a span, then this has an A tag inside which we could have something like an I tag so you can go on and on and on you could actually create a div with an id using emmet so you could do something like div and then my id and what this does is that this creates the div with the id attribute set to my id and now if you even want to go shorter you can just type the id because the default element to create from emmet is div so you could do just the id and you can see that here we got the id created or you could do something like my id and it would do exactly the same thing now if you wanted to create another element with the id you would type the element name and then the id and then it will generate the same thing for you so it will create a span now with the id set to my id now if you wanted to create an element with a clause you would do a dot notation so for div you could just do something like my dash class and here it will create the div now if you wanted to create let's say an element with a class so you could do span dot my class and here you can see that it creates the span with the class as well and you could try different elements as well so here you can see that we created a b tag you could also create nested elements so for instance you could do something like hey dot parent class and here you use the greater than sign and here then you say dot child class and you can see that in the emmet abbreviation it creates two divs for us Similarly, what you could do is that you could create it with multiple elements as well, not by just div. And you could also say, hey, if I want another span right after this div, then what do I do? So you could do something like, hey, we have a parent class. So we do a dot parent class. Then inside we have a dot child class. But then we also have a span. So we can add that by using the plus sign here. So we can say span and then we can give this a class called second child so second child and here you can see that in the emmet abbreviation we create another span here now you could go on and on with this one you could say something like plus and here we could say p tag and then that could have an id which is third child and you can see that it kind of creates it here now what if i already know that i would have let's say 10 or 11 number of elements within a parent class so for instance what we want is we want a div and inside that we want basically list item elements and actually a lot of them so what you would do is that let's say if these were 10 then you would start copying this and you would do something like this now with emmet that becomes really easy so you just need to do something like list inside i need list item but not just one but actually 10 of those and you can see that it essentially creates 10 div elements right away so when i hit enter you can see that this creates those elements and the good thing is that it kind of brings the cursor inside each of the elements so if i go forward with tab you can see that i could type something here then go forward then go forward and this makes really easy to actually work with the HTML in general. Now, the second tip is for when you're using JavaScript and when you have complex equations like this one or complex conditions even where you have to use a lot of brackets. Now, you can see that all of the brackets actually become quite confusing, specifically when we are looking at these tail ends. So what you could do for this one is that we have an extension that we call bracket pair and then colorizer and then when you try to find this you have to install the bracket pair colorizer too so i'm going to install this one and once you do that and look at your script tag 
now you see that all of the brackets are colored differently so this is a really handy extension that you can use so i now know that hey this one is yellow so it kind of closes here then this one is pink closes here then this is kind of bluish so i can differentiate between all of my brackets that's the second tip for you the third tip is specifically for the html and i personally love it because there has been many times where you have a lot of content in your html but when you try to select let's say a div that is huge what you would potentially do is that you would either close it and then copy it or if it's really huge then you might just click here and see this this highlighted line which is the pink line here and then kind of follow it through and go here and then select it now there is actually a better way of doing this with vs code so what you do is that you just click on the div and then you press Control shift p or command shift p which opens the command palette and then you type balance and then you select outwards when you hit enter here you see that all of this content is now selected and ready for me to cut copy and kind of move it somewhere else so if i press Control x you can see that all of the div is gone similarly if you just wanted to have the inner content of a div selected then you would do the same thing but with balance inward so here i can click on this div and then i can press Control shift p and here i can use the balance inward and you see that all of the content selected is within this div so inside the div excluding this div itself so that's the third tip for you all right so i hope that you found this video useful if you did make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and follow my socials as well and if you know cool vs code tips that you want to share with the community just write down in the comments and i'll make sure to heart it also i stream on twitch every week so feel free to come and say hi we build cool stuff there with javascript currently we are going with some beginner stuff but we are gonna go with some advanced stuff later on as well and having said that till the next time happy coding